Hey guys, Matt from MLHD here. Today we're going to be taking a look at this little newer tripod adapter plate that I use every single time I film a video. It's super helpful to be able to use standard Manfrotto plates even if your tripod doesn't come with it. Alright, so this adapter costs about $16 on Amazon right now and it comes with a standard plate by Newer. Now, I didn't really know what to expect based on quality for this since Newer is not exactly a top of the line brand. They're usually just a Chinese company that ships through Amazon, but this whole thing's metal. It's a big chunk of metal and as of right now, it's been pretty sturdy, pretty nice. I've had no issues with any of the screws or any of the uh, components. Nothing's really gotten worn down. It seems like pretty nice quality, especially just being a chunk of metal. Now, the main function of this plate is if you have a tripod like this that has like one of the uh, screw bottoms on it, it can get kind of annoying to have to take your camera off, unscrew the plate, put it on the tripod itself. And then if you want to go back to say something like a gimbal or a shoulder rig, you got to unscrew it from the tripod plate. You got to put the Manfrotto plate back on and then slide it in. And it's just kind of an all around hassle. So I picked this up. So then right now, if I wanted to go to the gimbal, I would just unscrew the camera from the plate, push down the button right here, slide the camera off, and I could just pop it right into the gimbal. So after I take the camera off, you can see it fits pretty flush on most tripods. Now obviously every tripod's gonna be a little bit different, so it may not work with yours. Uh, one thing that was kind of funky with this one is the knob right here that cranks down on the plate. When you turn it, it does hit into the part right here that holds the tripod handle, but newer did think of this and I love any kind of screw mechanism that has this. Once you hit a point where you can't turn it anymore, you can pull it out and it'll disengage. So then I could turn it back up to here, click it back in, and then tighten it down more until it's fully tightened, which I found that's about the perfect amount. If it's completely loose right here, you spin it to about there or unscrew it and give it a little bit more torque and then your camera's cranked down and it's not gonna go anywhere. Another cool feature that this adds that like your tripod might not already have is a level. So right here you have a horizontal level and a vertical level, which for this that isn't a ball head, it's gonna be kind of nice to be able to see if my shot's level and I have to go into the legs to make adjustments. So I've definitely been using that when I'm setting up shots, whereas normally I would just have to use the horizons on the cameras. But I feel like this is gonna give you a little bit better of a measurement and it's built right into the back of the plate, so you're gonna have it no matter where you go. So I talked about it a little bit earlier, but the plate adapter does screw. It has tripod screws on the bottom, so whenever you have a tripod like this that doesn't already have the plate system, you can just use the mounting plate, screw it into the adapter, clip it down on your tripod, and, and you're good to go with any kind of standard Manfredo plate. And I picked up the package where for about, I think, $24 on Amazon, you get the adapter and then two tripod plates. So when you have two cameras, you can just leave the plates on the cameras and be able to jump back and, tw back and forth between a shoulder rig, a gimbal, and this without having to unscrew anything. You can just leave it cranked down at all times. So when you actually get to use it, it's pretty simple. There's a little arrow pointing right here so the lens goes this way, along with on the plates that it comes with, there's an arrow that points to where the lens is. So all you have to do, push it in from the back, it'll click in, then you turn the little knob right here, clip it down a couple times, and then you're good to go. Your camera's locked in and it's not going anywhere. Uh, another nice feature is once it's clicked in, say I forget to tighten it and someone bumps my tripod, your camera can't fall off of it because it has this little, it has a little uh, safety lever right here. So your camera can't come out until you push down that little button and then it can slide right off and then you're good to put on another camera or change the plate or do whatever you need to do. So taking a look at the plate that this adapter comes with, they are pretty nice. They have the newer logo right here. And once again, just like the actual adapter itself, I am impressed with like the build material. It, it feels solid. Like I'm not worried about my camera like flexing on it or coming off and compared to some other tripods I felt, it's really nice. and. Another cool feature that I didn't realize it had until it got here is it actually comes with both of the screws. So you have the smaller one for like DSLRs and then it comes with the bigger screw for like bigger, more pro cameras. I obviously removed it because then you can't screw it on. And the way you do that is there's a little uh, rubber 
stopper right here. You pop that out and then you can just slide the screw right down here and you can pop out the screws right there. And then once you get it all set up how you want, you just pop that little rubber stopper back in and it'll keep the screws from falling out. You also have the little nub up here that some cameras can use to hold it in. I personally can't use that, so on the back, you can just unscrew the piece that holds it in and pop that out. Uh, another part that I kind of like is it has these like rubber feet right here. So whenever you put it on your camera and you crank it down, it's not gonna spin around while it's like attached to your camera. And I definitely like that because I leave these on my cameras now, so then it's easier just to jump back and forth between anything that has these plates. And overall, just the build quality of both of these, I'm really happy with them. I feel like it's gonna last over time. I've been using it for a while and there's like no scratching or anything on it and the screws all work great and it just it feels like a solid chunk of metal that's going to be able to hold your camera and last for a while which you don't always get when you buy stuff from newer sometimes it's cheaper quality products but so overall i'm really happy of how functional this product is uh, i knew it was definitely going to help with the quick changing like pulling your camera off putting it on to something else and it came with these really nice plates but the other features with the level, that's gonna be really helpful if you don't have a tripod that has a ball head and it's already gonna have one built in. And in addition to, if you have a camera like this with like a really heavy lens on it and it's falling forward, you can always loosen it and slide it back on the plate a little bit so that way, whenever you try to do a some kind of tilt motion or something, it's not gonna fall over as soon as you uh, loosen the tilt lever. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Head down in the comments and let me know what you thought. If you want to check out some of my other videos, head down to my channel. We got all kinds of other tech reviews. We got SSDs, we got camera bags, all kinds of stuff. Pretty much anything you could ever ask for. Make sure to stop back often. I upload about once or twice a month to so check out some of the other stuff and all the new stuff coming. But that's all we got for today. So this has been Matt from MLHD Tech. We'll see you guys next time.